Okay, so the contradiction between karma and there's nothing to forgive and enlightenment. Um, it's true that that is a contradiction. Um, so the whole world is an illusion. And if I start talking about karma, karma is actually not real at the level of enlightenment. So what, what Buddha said, I like what Buddha said, which is like, um, the only way to be free of old age, suffering and death, i.e. karma, is to reach enlightenment. When you realize that the whole world's an illusion and you're no longer subject to anything that happens in the world, the crazy ideas that, you know, karma and belief systems, you could say karma and belief systems are the same thing. Um, you're no longer subject, but you'll be you're beyond this world and you're not subject to old age death. You're not a thing that, not a body. And whatever happens to the body uh, and what happens with people is a dream and you're not subject, you're not part of it. So it's true to say that karma is, is kind of, it could be seen as very confusing because um, at the level of enlightenment, karma is not real and it seems like a waste of time talking about it. So why do I, why do I talk about karma when karma is not real, when belief systems are not real, when the world is not real, when everything is not real, why, why am I talking about stuff which is not real? And one of my teachers I used to have would just focus on the, on the observer and self-inquiry. He wouldn't even talk about karma and the world as if it was real or belief systems. Just don't waste your time with that. So that is, that is a, some teachers do do that. But I just sort of say, um, I think it's, it's a useful thing well, it can be useful at certain points if, if you're not enlightened to help you just let go of stuff if you're still in the illusory world of duality. So if you're still in the illusory world of duality and um, um, let's say someone's... Um, uh, one of the things the Course in Miracles says is I'm not a victim of the world. Um, and um, karma is just a way of seeing that nothing within the illusory world happens by accident. So if someone steals money from me, even though that's not real in the, in the enlightened world, because there's no me and there's no you and there's no money in truth. Um, but um, if you're stuck in the illusion of duality, if you know that there are spiritual laws, if you like, in duality, it can help you let go of some heavy stuff. Um, so uh, if you steal money, it, like a, a simple example is if you, if you rob a bank, you may end up in prison one day. That's just how it works in the dualistic world. Um, if, I, if, if, I verbally, if I verbally judge someone, they may verbally judge me back, you see. So that's just, uh, now, why am I talking about that? Because the whole world's an illusion and karma is not real. And for someone who's enlightened, all of this stuff is nonsense. Well, it's just, um, I guess I speak at different levels of consciousness. It would actually be true. It's nonsense to talk about karma once you're enlightened. It's a waste of time. But if someone is stuck at a lower level of consciousness, it can sometimes be beneficial to understand it and let go to get explanations at lower levels of consciousness. So that's the same thing with The Course in Miracles, where it says, in, God is loving, which I forgive. So it's, it's pretty, you're at a low level of consciousness. You believe you're a person. You believe there's other people. And you need God's love to help you to forgive that other person. So that's a low level of consciousness. And that's appropriate if you're at a low vibration. Um, once you've um, transcended the idea of you being a body and thoughts and other people being bodies and thoughts, and you're more in these elevated oneness places, flow states beyond the idea of a me and a you, then of course um, there is nothing to forgive, but that that that's an experiential state. Can't be an intellectual exercise because then it's more appropriate to do God as a loving which I forgive. So, so in answering the question, I speak to different people at different levels. Um, if I was speaking to somebody who's more or less in the flow state and is saying they don't recognize themselves as a body and they don't see others as bodies then to talk to them about karma would be nonsense because it'd be actually um, trying to pull them down to a low vibration. But if someone's at a low vibration, uh, saying God is a loving which I forgive can be practical for them, even though it's not true 
at the level of absolute truth. So that's the different levels. Uh, some people just dislike the, the word karma and past lives, in which case just forget it and just stick to uh, belief systems. You know, if you had no belief systems, then you'd be beyond this world. But karma and beliefs are more or less the same thing. Okay, let me stop this recording.